Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Primeline U10378. This is a cylinder guard is what it is. This is what it looks like in its packaging. The installation instructions are underneath here, which we'll look at in a moment. Here's what it looks like outside of its packaging. It's a piece of brass plated steel. It's dimensional properties. About five and seven eighths. About three inch. The thickness of the steel is 0.8 inch. 0.8 is what it is. Okay. 0.8. This is going to include uh, through bolts, washers, and typical nuts and a brass finish. Um, and those, the length of those bolts would be appropriate for an inch and three quarter thick door. In fact, um, they would likely get you to a door thickness of two inch. Um, I don't really like this design because that carriage bolt is going to stick out past where it would normally be with the nut and the washer. Be nice if acorn nuts were included with these and that the bolts were made exactly for inch and three quarter thick doors. Um, once upon a time, acorn nuts were the standard, but they they haven't been for a few years. We've got the dimensions now. Why are you looking at this? Why might this item be of interest to you? Let's take a closer look. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. You're likely looking at this video because you want to replace your item. It's probably what's happening. It's also possible that you had one of these on a prior door and you want to add a Siegel lock, but you want the rim, the uh, cylinder protector plate. In case you're replacing one, top of the plate to the center of that first hole looks like it's about five eighths, and then down to the second hole about five and a quarter. From the end, or the edge, looks like it's about nine sixteenths to the center line. I would say that these are quarter twenty carriage bolts is what I would say. If you're doing a new installation, that's great. Why would you use a plate like this, however? Well, you see this recessed or dimpled area here. Um, we can do it. I don't have a cylinder. It didn't have a cylinder on my desk ready to go. Here's a mortise cylinder. You wouldn't use a mortise cylinder in this installation, but for purposes of this video, the head of the cylinder will act uh, as a rim cylinder. What you're doing with this plate is you are protecting the head of that cylinder. Okay, If you can get to the head of the cylinder, you have potentially a way to bypass the lock. If you were to destroy and damage the cylinder to the point where you peeled it off the door, you could, you would have access to a um, compromised area inside of the lock that with a small amount of special knowledge you might be able to bypass the lock. This plate restricts access to the head of that cylinder is the bottom line. Um, that's the weak point of the cylinder. You can kind of manipulate cylinders, um, you know, means of destructive, destructive bypass. If you're going to break, kick, hammer, saw, wrench your way into a door, sure, hardware is not meant for that application, but this is meant to re go a long way to eliminating the possibility of uh, semi-destructive means of manipulation. Also, it does cover up a lot of the area that you might otherwise drill into as well. And while it's just steel, it is most definitely uh, a piece of security equipment that is used in the exterior or secure or keyed side of the opening. This would be a great uh, item for you to use. Um, okay, so we have talked about it. Let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Now, here's the item that we are looking at, used for night lock rim cylinder. So a night lock is also known as a rim lock, and a night lock is literally a lock body that's, well, it's a seagull lock. It's mounted around the perimeter of the door, and you use a rim cylinder. Um, and this plate works to protect that exterior cylinder. Exterior mounted place covers rim cylinder face from tamp covers rim cylinder face from tampering. 
used on outswinging doors can be used on in-swinging doors as well. Why not? Heavy steel cylinder guard includes carriage bolts, nuts, and washers. Easy to install in less than 30 minutes with a few simple tools. This should by no means take you 30 minutes. Um, if you're stopping to watch the football game while you're doing it, sure, I suppose. Uh, the point of the matter is doing something correctly does indeed take time. I don't believe it would take nearly that long. For further dimensional information, see the line drawing. This will be available for you to see. Now the installation instructions I mentioned are here. And really this is more of an eyeball sort of scenario. You're going to get that plate um, positioned over the cylinder so that the cylinder plug is through the hole. Now what I would suggest that you do is you have a 12 inch level with you and that you get that level attached to the side and that you make sure the plate, you know, attach it to one side of this, make sure the plate is perfectly vertical, then mark your holes. From there you can then drill your holes. Um, you can then drill your holes. My suggestion would be to not drill all the way through with a quarter inch or a five sixteenths drill bit. Actually, let me put my caliper on the on the bolt to know the diameter. I'm quite sure it's quarter inch, but let's just double check. Uh, yeah, it's definitely quarter inch. Um, so you probably use a five sixteenths drill bit. I wouldn't want to drill that through the door because I would be concerned I would breach through the other side and tear out some of the veneer. Um, if you were going to try to drill through all the way all the way through the door, you might want to use a drill press and like an eighth of an inch drill bit uh, so that you properly uh, drill straight all the way through the door. Carriage bolts are hard to install when they're mounted crooked if the hole is not perfectly straight. I mean, ideally, you're marking on both sides of the door is the bottom line. Place cylinder guard over the key outside, uh, key cylinder on outside, as shown. Make sure key fits through the hole into the cylinder and turns. Mark the four holes, drill quarter inch holes. The bolt was actually 0.24 inch. That doesn't leave a lot of room. You know, because you've got this plate and plus you've got those washers, 5 sixteenths wouldn't be the end of the world. Install bolts from outside, then washers and nuts from inside. Tighten securely, and that's it. I have some photographs of this item that we can look at. Primeline is the company that now owns the Siegel name, and it's under the Primeline name that Siegel locks are distributed. This Primeline unit has replaced the original Siegel item, which is here, the SE80000. If you buy the SE80000, we're going to ship you this Primeline item, at least at this time. Okay. There is a link below this video to the uh, manufacturer's page. This, because we're on the Siegel page, um, is interesting because you can take a look at their product catalog in terms of the different locks that they offer. These rim-mounted locks. Bolts and latches, single cylinder, double cylinder. Their availability has changed over the years. They don't make all combinations that they once did. There's also a fun catalog here if you want to see what Siegel was doing in 1929. There's that product catalog. 124 pages. Siegel Lock Company. And what you'll note is that this hardware has not changed in a hundred years. It just literally, for all intents and purposes, has not changed. A neat trip back down through memory lane, that's for sure. Uh, Siegel was a New York City police detective and literally invented this item to combat the things that he saw on the job, is the bottom line. Um, and this cylinder guard plate uh, goes hand in hand with improving security on a door. It may not be the prettiest piece of hardware to have on your door, um, that's to be sure, but when you're in New York, um, where Siegel was from, you see these everywhere. They're just standard, they're normal. They're, on, they're installed on all these locks. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, so this protector plate, while we don't sell them very often, they are a piece of equipment that does seem to go hand in hand with the Siegel rim mounted lock. Um, generally, I sell these alone or 
or without the locks themselves. Um, I think it's because, quite frankly, customers already have the lock. Or they're adding it to another application where this sort of cylinder guard is a perfect complement to what they're working on. Um, you know, whatever type of cylinder that you've got on the outside and you want to create some protection, it's a good plate to do it. And it's very inexpensive as well. So whether or not you're using it on a Siegel lock, ultimately doesn't matter. It's there to protect the head of cylinders, rim cylinders. It can certainly protect a mortise cylinder as well. Be mindful, though, the hardware that you may use this with, you've got those, those four holes. Those four mounting holes will not, they will straddle a typical Siegel lock. It may not work for your application. If you had an aluminum storefront lock, um, yeah, this is going to be a problem. Now, you can get around that. Um, you would have to use, um, you know, a fastener that would be a blind sort of installation, a uh, blind fastener. You might use a security drive on a uh, round head machine bolt that would be, say, three-quarter thick, uh, long, and then you used a riv nut or a jack nut to install it. That could work as well. Any questions on the Prime Line? This is their part number U10378 Cylinder Guard or any other Prime Line product. Please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.